What is Doc's personality? This? this? Yeah. <laughs> Laid back. So he just probably, he's not like wanting to play or be a rambunctious or anything, you think? He just wants um, to like kind of chill and coexist? For the most part, he's, you know, but he'll get his little excitement periods yeah. where he'll play and he'll <laughs> rumble yeah. and then he'll be like, okay, I'm ready to sleep. Doc is a 10 year old American Bulldog. He is a very goofy boy. I've had his whole life. So, what are you guys looking for <laughs> in the new dog? We definitely want something active and social, because we're active and social. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we have a busy life, and we like to have parties, and we have friends over and everything. So, that okay. something very outgoing and yeah. busy with new people. It'd be nice to find one that can play, but knows the boundaries when Doc's ready to sleep, and we'll, you know, just go off and do his own thing and play with us or play by himself, you know, while Doc rests. Because <laughs> again, he's old. Where well, he's huge. Yeah. Huge. He got bigger this week, maybe. <laughs> or... Essentially, whatever dog we find, I mean, they have to be bomb proof with everything. Pilgrim came to us in November, and we usually like name our dogs themed around what month we get them in. So he was close to Thanksgiving, so that's how he got his name Pilgrim. And he was actually found as a stray, but his mouth was duct taped shut. But now, Pilgrim's a really happy, outgoing, fun, loving dog. You want to say hey to Pilgrim? Let me see. Who's that guy? <laughs> good boy, Doc. I know. It's a good boy. What's up, Bubba? <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. One of the things I like the most is how he wasn't shy about getting up uh, with us and being friendly right away. So that's a really good sign uh, considering what we're looking for in a dog. I mean, we want a dog that's gonna be able to meet a new person, say, oh, hi, how are you?" Hi. Hi. Good boys, good boys. Hey. Good, boys. Good, boys. good boys. Good boys. It was great to see Doc and Pilgrim get along and do so well together. Doc didn't seem to be like, you know, overprotective of Sam and Kevin, which was really great too. Good boys. <laughs> Tall <Tallest> door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, I see you both. I see you both. Didn't seem to mind sharing the uh, sharing the love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks hey. pretty. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. It seemed that Pilgrim had an agenda, and it was to, to please everyone in the room. I liked it once he kind of got to know Doc, like he bounced around right to Sam and then me. I think he's the socially definitely what we're looking for in a dog. Pilgrim has come a long way. We are bringing Pilgrim to his potential new home with Kevin and Sam locally here in New Orleans. I don't even know the last time I saw Kevin. Oh, ooh. <laughs> we do have some concerns going into this. Pilgrim is, you know, high energy. But Doc and Pilgrim did really well at their meet and greet, so we're just hoping that it continues to go that way once we're in Doc's home. <laughs> Hi, hey. it's been so long. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, <laughs> it's been forever. Oh my yes. God, I haven't met him. You haven't met Doc? Oh so cute, God. look at his face. Oh my God, I'm in love with you. Yeah. I want their dog. I want Doc really bad. He is so cute, that underbite. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that? I told you he was the cutest dog I've ever seen. I didn't even <laughs> like this. Waiting for a pilgrim. We've been getting uh, antsy. We're beyond ready. We were ready yesterday and the day before and the day before. My biggest thing, and I'm pretty sure yours as well, is making sure that his house is respected. He's obviously older, and pilgrim does like to play a lot, so he is going to need to be out a lot and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, He's got seniority, obviously. Yeah. Finally, he has seniority. Yeah. <laughs> He's been waiting his whole life for the oh. chance. You know, it's been a really long time since we've had a new family member come into the house, not since we uh, rescued Doc 10 years ago, and I just hope it all goes really well. I sniff the yard. Do you want him to go off? Uh-huh. Once we got in the backyard, we kept Pilgrim on leash and let Doc off the leash. That way we could let them hang out, but in a more controlled situation. I know Pilgrim was gonna run around like crazy, and um, we wanted to take it slow. He can do whatever the hell he wants. That face. <laughs> He's earned it. When you look like that, you can do what you want. <laughs> New smells. 
Yeah, all the dogs. Um, oh, you seem really irritated right now. Such a relief to see that once we got Pilgrim in the yard where Doc, you know, he would be, the, I guess, the most cautious, just didn't care. Because that's really the, the only thing that I think could have stopped this adoption from going really well. In the yard, both dogs, cool characters. <laughs> that drool. At least I don't yeah. have to worry about you guys being grossed out by drool, because I know that's already a situation. Oh, yeah. Well, we're very excited having Pilgrim here and very happy to give him a big yard and a big house to roam around. Why don't you guys take him in your room? He can yeah. relax Come for on. a minute. Okay. We asked them to put Doc up in his crate so that we could bring Pilgrim inside and let him kind of get his bearings and sniff the new house without bumping into Doc and causing too much ruckus. Be free. <laughs> Oh, make yourself at home, sir. It's been years since we've seen, like, this whole, like, newness happen. It's exciting to see, like, Pilgrim get his bearings and check out the space that he's going to be calling home. <laughs> check it out, buddy. <laughs> well, I'm most looking forward to just, you know, the new energy in the house, the new training and everything, and, you know, definitely giving Doc, you know, a little companionship, too, is definitely a big thing. All right. I like that he's a dog. He's a dog. <laughs> Welcome home. I like right. he's a camera savvy dog. That'll that'll come in handy. Uh -huh. After working on the show for so long um, and getting to know the pit bull breed, and I, I kind of planted a seed in the back of my head that maybe one day, like you know, a pit bull might make it to our house. And um, I guess having the opportunity to be able to give a dog a home, but also do it from people that are familiar um, and you feel a little closer to than just some random adoption, it makes it a little more special. All right, I'll see you soon. Yes. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, Bye. Bye. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. With my boots. Bye, nice seeing you. Bye. Dogs are like chips. You can't just have one. I need, I need more. <laughs> Bye. Bye. There you go. So it's very exciting to have that now. And you know, he definitely has already instant connection to us.